Hey folks, it's me again with part two of Haiti. As we know, we had a huge, powerful, overwhelming, positive response to the local community when we relocated. With that came a new church that's already been expanded and also a class size of 50 for the teachers and the school there went to over 200 students. And that poses a few challenges, both for the facility and for the teachers. Concerning the teachers, there's an organization called P4H Global. They have a presence in Haiti and they fight poverty through education. We coordinated with them to come observe for two days and then have a personalized curriculum for our teachers to give them the tools and strategies they need to facilitate the quadruple class size. Uh, the picture you'll see here are the instructors working with the uh, teachers at Haiti Gospel or Hope Vision Mission. And the next picture is just Pastor Andy with the teachers and the instructors at Hope Vision Mission. Just a great, great thing. We've got an affiliation with them for ongoing uh, help. As far as the facility goes, uh, Pastor Andy wants to build a school. Well, the 501C is the Haiti Gospel Fund state site. We're scratching our heads going, we can't make budget. We're sending less than we have every month just to stretch this to the end of the year. Things are tight. But one of our members had an idea to throw this project into the uh, Spirit Week at Hillcrest High School. Well, we made the top three. The students voted and they decided for a school to build a school in Haiti. So God works in great ways and glory to be to God that hopefully we'll have a school built and I can talk about that this time next year. Uh, it's just times like this that are very uplifting. Again, what you guys do, your love, your support, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great worship experience, and I hope to have an even better report next year.